I will show you how to turn 9 wholesome ingredients into delicious meals for the week. And it's a great way to save time in the kitchen. It's all about making your life easier and providing healthy meals. I usually save up to 5 hours throughout the week if I meal prep on Sunday. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Anastasia. Welcome to, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I'm a from scratch kind of girl. I like cooking my food at home and I like eating healthy. So the meal prep is a great way to stick to healthy eating, especially if you care about all things gut health. I'm so excited for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoy. I always start my meal prep by writing down what I'm planning to make. Next step is grocery shopping and I did a whole video about it and I showed you all the gut-friendly products I usually get, so make sure to check it out before going grocery shopping. First thing I want to prep today is to freeze some bananas for an epic dessert we're gonna make later in the video. So what you need to do is just to peel and slice the bananas in halves, then insert a popsicle stick halfway up into each slice. You can also use a few wooden skewers instead of popsicle sticks. Next, place the bananas in the freezer for at least 2 hours. Also, I usually freeze any leftover bananas to have on hand for smoothies. Before starting the actual cooking, I want to prep some pickled red onions so they'll be ready for lunch today. Onions are rich in prebiotics and pickled red onions make any dish so much better and flavorful and they're easy to make. Thinly slice one large onion on a mandolin or using a sharp knife and place it in a jar. Then mix together a half of a cup of hot water and one half of cup of apple cider vinegar along with one tablespoon of honey and one teaspoon of salt. Give it a quick stir and pour it over the sliced onions until it covers them completely. Then seal up the jar and pop it in the fridge for at least one hour. Roasting is a great way to prep some food and you can use the oven for different items at the same time. Today I am roasting some sweet potatoes to fill a box with some resistant starch. Peel or don't peel the potatoes, it's up to you. When I get organic sweet potatoes, I leave the skin on for more nutrients, when not, peel the skin off. Then I cut the potato into small cubes and transfer onto my baking sheet. Drizzle with some olive oil and season with some dried oregano, salt and pepper. If you're making a small batch, you can roast the sweet potato along the chickpeas on the same tray. Next, I make the sauce for my chickpeas. In a bowl, I add some tomato paste, tamari, maple syrup, smoked paprika and chipotle powder. Season it with salt and pep and mix to combine. Then I add the sauce to a bowl with rinsed and pet dried chickpeas and mix so every single chickpea is covered. I transfer the chickpeas onto a baking sheet and bake at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, tossing it halfway through. While those items are cooking, I'm going to cook some quinoa, which is one of my favorite grains. And I actually have a kind of strange system when it comes to cooking quinoa because I am sensitive to saponins and sometimes I have a heartburn after eating quinoa. So I came up with this method. First, I rinse the grain very well, then I cover it with some water and bring to a boil. When the water comes to a boil, I drain it and pour in some fresh water. I give it a stir, drain the water, pour in the fresh water once again. I bring it to the boil one more time and cook the quinoa until tender. This way of cooking helps to get rid of bitterness and saponins. Now it's time to toast my sweet potatoes and the chickpeas so they can roast evenly. At the same time my quinoa is cooking, I heat up another pot of water for my eggs. When the water is boiling, I lower the heat and place in the eggs and set my timer for 6 minutes to get the most delicious jammy eggs. If you are using larger, not organic eggs, they may take longer. 
once the eggs are done, I cover them with some cold water to stop the cooking process. Then I turn off the heat, fluff up the quinoa with a fork and put the lid on. Once cooked, I can transfer it to a glass box to keep in the fridge until needed. Then I'll do the same with the eggs. I prefer to peel them now to save even more time later. By the time it's done, the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas are also done, so the only thing left is to transfer them to containers as well. As you guys know from my grocery haul video, I like getting a bunch of kale to use throughout the week because kale is a great source of fiber, so it fits our gut box. I usually take a big container and line it with a kitchen towel so it can absorb extra liquid and create a wet environment for my kale. Then I wash the kale, cut it dry slightly, Tear off the leaves and place in a box, cover with the same towel and close the lid. The idea is to leave as minimum air as possible. Pop it in the fridge and you are done! To make this gut health meal prep even easier for you, I've created a free downloadable PDF guide so you can follow it without any fuss. I link it in the description box below, make sure to download it before starting this meal prep. Now let's make some salad dressings. I have two options for you to try. First is a simple Mediterranean style balsamic vinaigrette made of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, honey, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. Mix all the ingredients in a jar, seal it up and pop in the fridge for later use. The second option is a creamy tahini dressing. Add the tahini, hot water, lemon juice, honey and seasoning to a glass box or you can use a jar, then stir well to combine. So now you've got these 9 ingredients prepped, let me show you a few meals that you can quickly put together and enjoy throughout the week. For breakfast, you can make a simple avocado toast with the boiled eggs and sauerkraut or pickled onion for a funky kick. Or you can make a sweet potato and quinoa pancakes. To be honest, it was my first attempt to make those and they turned out great! In a bowl, add 3 tablespoons of chickpea flour and a little bit of water to create a sticky mass that will help with biting. You can also use an egg, I just want to keep this recipe vegan. Then add 4 heaped tablespoons of quinoa and 4 tablespoons of baked sweet potato and mash them with a fork. Season the mixture with salt and pepper, then add some chopped chives or other herb if it takes your fancy. Heat up a non-stick pan with a little bit of olive oil. I went crazy with the oil because I was afraid the dough would stick. As I told you, it was my first time making it. You don't need that much oil. Add half of the butter and cook your pancake until golden and almost cooked through. Then flip it over and cook on the other side until it gets some color. Repeat with the remaining butter if cooking for two persons. Serve these pancakes with some guac, pickled onions and roasted chickpeas. Or you can have a boiled egg for your source of protein. Yum! Yum yum! For lunch and dinner, I like making nourishing salads and with bowls like this chickpea and sweet potato bowl. It starts with a bunch of fresh kale. You can also steam the kale. If raw kale makes you bloated, then add some sauerkraut for some probiotic and fiber. Then go roasted chickpeas and sweet potato. Next. Add some sprouts, a handful of Kalamata olives and optionally some pickled onions or you can use raw onion as well. To finish it off, add a couple of tablespoons of the tahini dressing and voila! Look how pretty this bowl looks! Can we just admire the color palette? You can also find this recipe on the Greeny app, which is my wellness app and it's amazing, you guys! Check it out! Another great idea is this Nisua style salad. I'm always vibing with the Mediterranean cuisine, so here I take some greens from my pots as a base. 
then add sliced juicy tomatoes, some pickled onions, olives, chopped chives, then I cut one egg in quarters and add to the salad. To continue the Mediterranean vibe, I add four anchovy filet and finish it off with a drizzle of balsamic vinaigrette. Yum! By the way, if you're very hungry, you can add some quinoa, it would be a great addition to this salad. Next recipe is a quinoa salad from my app and I always make sure to check the ingredients even though I wrote the recipe, I often forget some details. To make the salad, add the quinoa to a bowl, then top it with sliced tomato or cucumber or you can use both. Next, add some Kalamata olives. I always buy the whole ones and then remove the pits. The whole olives have much more flavor than pitted ones. Then go the capers pie roasted bell peppers from a jar that are roughly sliced, a couple of sun-dried tomatoes, some crumbled feta and a drizzle of balsamic vinaigrette. Also, I like adding a few basil leaves for some color. It's such a perfect summer salad, you guys! Okay, moving on to sweet treats. My latest smoothie obsession includes a bunch of greens like kale and spinach, some frozen bananas and an orange. It gives a great flavor and actually helps to absorb iron from the greens. My husband also likes this combo. Okay, lastly, I want to show you one of my favorite summer treats, chocolate-covered bananas. To make these frozen bananas extra special, I cover them in melted chocolate and some crunches. Melt the chocolate in a microwave. If you are like me and you don't have one, put the chocolate chips in a glass jar and then place the jar in a pot with hot water for 5 minutes or so, so the chocolate can melt. Prepare your toppings of choice. Now dip each banana slice into the chocolate, rotating while dipping to make sure they are well coated. Next, sprinkle your toppings over the banana slices, keeping in mind that chocolate hardens quite quickly. Repeat with the remaining banana slices. Today I am using some chopped pistachios, roasted hazelnuts, cacao nibs, toasted coconut flakes, peanut butter and some edible flowers. Place on a piece of parchment paper, then either pop back in the freezer or enjoy right away. It is such a delicious and good for your treat and I'm sure you are gonna love it. So here you have it, easy to make and good for your gut meals. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and smash that subscribe button so you won't miss out on the next episode. I'll see you soon! Ciao!